Hi there, welcome to another video. Um, I'm here fighting an acute case of sinusitis, so I'm feeling very under the weather, very low mood-wise, but not about trading because we're doing well. We're at equity highs on both the FTP accounts. So remember, we've got two FTP accounts going at the same time. Usually, my partner and I are trading one together, and then I'm trading, tentatively trading the other one. And I got into a bit of a funk a week and a half ago, lack of confidence or just bad luck, one or the other. And uh, but pushed through and had my best week last week um, with big days last Thursday and Friday. Big for me, anyway. Scaling in, uh, some of the, the trades were documented on YouTube. So that account, uh, which drew down about a third of the drawdown, is now back at equity highs and, and beyond. Well, it's at equity highs, but pushed past the previous equity high. So that's well into positivity. And then our other one that we're doing together is nearly there now. Um, don't feel the need to share the exact dollar amount, but needless to say, we're on our way and we're making it to the funded account. So the goal today, the only different thing we've done today, which we may tentatively try to continue, is normally what would happen is my partner's downstairs, we connect via TeamViewer uh, version 11, which is a free software, highly recommended. We can share your desktop, talk via audio with headsets and share screens and also control each other's screens. You can, one can control the other screen and then you can flip and, and have it that you, the other person controls your screen. Um, and so we both have NinjaTrader 7 uh, downloaded on our respective PCs and laptops and we go to it. Um, my partner's trading her, well our, but trading her FTP and I'm trading mine, which is not just mine, but just for the sake of this video and to not confuse the two, we just call it hers and mine. Um, and today, where, where we would normally have it that I'm either trading mine alone or trading hers, providing the analysis via team viewer, helping her with the orders and guiding her to placing orders and the right stop and target and scaling in and out and all that stuff. Normally we would do one or the other. So it's either me on my own or, or us together. But this time, as I was helping her with hers, I was also putting the same trades in to mine. Now, it's been weeks and weeks, like over a month, going on two months since uh, we, we joined forces. And I haven't dared to do something like that for fear of it changing the quality of my analysis. But today we said, let's give it a shot. And it's N equals one. So it's not really an indication of whether the method will suffer or not. But today we had a positive day. So, um, albeit not a great, not a massively profitable day, because we, what we did was, well, 6E was the first candidate. And after this green bar up, I put the order in. We both had orders in at 27 and a half. Stop under this low, about 10 ticks lower. And target at 45. And it just didn't get there. Got to within half a tick, went off without us. So that was a shame. Um, but at the same time, roughly the same time, so that was 11.45. At, yeah, about, well, not the same time, a bit later. We had to wait like half an hour, 40 minutes later. And we got long here on uh, 6J, looking for a measured move, among other things, to like 90... 96, so a bit off the chart here, up here somewhere. Um, not like this is to be ignored, it doesn't go there, but that's the arrow I use to project the measured move amongst other things on the 30 minute chart. So the whole number, pivot, all kinds of stuff up there. So we had a 96 target, but it never got there. We got in here together, um, saw that it was failing here, took the profit, set up again down here, took it again, this time hoping to gear in to the trade, scale in, 
and that didn't happen, so we took the profit again. <coughs> so on my partner's account, she she got two lots of profit, and I only traded it on the first move on my account. So all combined, we're up like three hundred dollars or thereabouts between the two accounts. In um, it took a it took a while today. I had to go downstairs. Was watching. Um, um, because I'm feeling so sick, I was on the couch watching, uh, uh, what's it called, um, with Christian Bale, uh, The Dark Knight, I was watching that, because I watched Batman Begins the other day, I've watched it before, but I just I was watching it again, and monitoring TeamViewer via my cell phone, mobile phone, I was downstairs, ran up to try to scale into this for my partner, she was out getting our daughter, and it just didn't happen. So the temptation is to keep trying, try again. It may well go today, later today, into the close, because the Japanese yen tends to make moves in the late Central European time. But I've had enough. We. It was an early morning this morning because I've started getting up and taking my, our daughter to school. So the routines changed. Made lunch. <coughs> not feeling very well as you can hear so the earlier day means I just can't I just can't keep going till you know till the evening like I would if I was up at my usual very late time like late morning um, even midday sometimes so health is improving a bit slow but steady still tough times ahead mentally psychologically physically but getting the job done slowly but surely. Rome wasn't built in a day. Yada yada yada. So just gonna keep stepping forward. You can't you can't keep taking steps towards your destination and never get there. Um, well, you can. You can die. You like run out of time before you get there. But um, we're not that far away. So you just have to keep taking steps, which we will do. Be patient. Be. Um, compassionate with ourselves, understanding if we make a mistake, and just keep going. So that's the plan. I just wanted to share that with you all. And you know I'll definitely, definitely be back with a big smile on my face when we pass uh, the FTP and get funded. And an even bigger smile when we pass the second one, because I think that's a fairly unique position in the world of Top Step Trader. I'm not sure that many people. It'd be interesting to ask them and get the stats. They don't really share that kind of stuff. Maybe once I'm funded, we are funded, they will share that with us. But I don't think there are many number one trading couples within Top Step Trader. I know of, I know of one um, whose name I, names I won't share, obviously, but in the chat uh, I know of one couple. Um, who don't actually trade together, but they both trade and they're a couple. Uh, so I think we're fairly unique in that sense. And um, uh, it's, it's an interesting experiment and we're enjoying it. And also to be left with two funded accounts and, excuse me, and, and keep those funded accounts. I don't see any reason why we can't because we know how to manage risk. <coughs> Excuse me. We're not through trying to hit it out of the park. We are either taking base hit losses or singles, or we're scaling in for big, big, like fairly big wins. You know, like four hundred dollars, four fifty for a hundred risk, or even seventy five risk. So you do the math. You know, that's a four, sometimes five to one trade. Um, the good ones typically aren't any less than three to one. So I've gone right back to that old, you know, bigger target, smaller stop, um, or bigger, bigger, I should say, bigger reward and small, um, comparatively speaking, to the risk. So bigger reward to risk ratio, but not smaller stops. And that's the key. The stops need to be bigger and it sounds like a paradox, but the stops need to be bigger and the targets even bigger. So, for example, where you might find people trying to get in with a six tick stop and get out for an eight tick gain, you want to go 12 tick stop. And rather than trying to just 
scale that up and make it a 16 tick game you want to go 20 tick game or 25 or 30 of course within the reason within the parameters you know the the confines of your strategy so just make the playing field bigger as i've said in a prior video meaning the distance between stop and target should be bigger and the reward should um i say should this is all my own opinion my own experience so Everyone has to do their due diligence, but what, what's helped us um, I, to feel pretty damn confident at this case, at this stage is not will we get funded, it's when and how much we'll make a month. Like I have no doubt we'll be funded and make money doing this, but will it be enough to sustain us? Um, and with two accounts traded simultaneously, it very well may be, because um, without sharing the specific number, um, in these combines and FTPs, we've actually managed to make what would be just enough money to sustain ourselves, our family, over this two-month period. And I know we can do a hell of a lot better. So, um, yeah, that's it. Just a little um, update on what we're doing, what we're up to, and I will keep you all posted. For now, I'm going to leave the comments off because I don't need the distraction, especially when I'm under the weather like this. A real terrible case of um, sinus sinusitis, if that's how you say it in English. I'm thinking of it in Italian. So, yeah. So, I'll end this video here. I will be back with, hopefully, with news of um, passing one or both of the FTPs and getting funded. If not, then if it takes too long and I get bored, you know, and I have some, or I have something else to share, then I'll be back before. So that's it for now. Take care and I will catch you all in the next video. Bye for now.